My name is Martin Harrell. Uh, I was in the C-Lab 3 project. As a matter of fact, I was the project engineer responsible for developing diver equipment. I was mainly back in the, uh, the office of the Deep Submergent Systems Project uh, working for Jack Tomsky, who, was, who headed the C-Lab 3 program. I got into diving uh, by simply volunteering to become a deep sea diving officer. When my dad heard that, uh, I never will forget what he told me. He said, son, what you lack in sense, you make up in poor judgment. But it set the stage for my life. I went through the Navy's deep sea diving school in 1960. I was signed afterwards to the submarine rescue vessel Petrel. Uh, it was very, very interesting duty. I loved the, uh, the whole thing. Uh, I went back to graduate school at Georgia Tech. I got interested in studying automatic control systems, got my master's degree in electrical engineering, where that was taught. Worked for a year at NASA's Manned Spacecraft Center, developing attitude control systems. And then on some reserve duty at the to requalify as a Navy diver at the, uh, the Navy Diving School, I was offered a position at the uh, Experimental Diving Unit. After about nine months there, Commander Jack Tomsky came in, at, uh, sat down at my desk and said, young fellow, I've heard some interesting things about you. I have been assigned as officer in charge of the C-Lab 3 program, and I want you to come work for me. He put his card down on the desk, on my desk. I called him that very day. And from that point on, I was in the sea lab. Interesting times going through some of the training, and some of it was physically difficult. Uh, I can remember when I went through the mixed gas uh, diver training, scuba training, down at the uh, underwater swim school at Key West. Uh, I was in good shape. I was running, not jogging, running five miles a day. I was swimming two miles a day on top of that. I had been a competitive swimmer in both high school and college. Uh, so that was just something I did. But I was nowhere near that level of, uh, of training, of physical training. Uh, we had underwater demolition team members down there when our class explosive ordnance disposal one uh, and the exercise was uh, was so much that I was afraid after that first day I wouldn't survive to see the second day and the second day I was afraid I might survive to see the third day. We all had a can-do kind of attitude. Uh, all you had to do was assign us uh, something to do and as I mentioned last night when I was speaking, the, uh, the difficult we do immediately, the impossible takes a little bit longer. But that was the attitude we had. Uh, the C-Lab training for me lasted uh, two years, I think it was. But it was tough. It was designed to make sure that uh, it was mind over matter. The training, the physical training was to make sure that, that you were physically fit for it, and second, that you had the mental ability to make your, uh, your body sprint when every fiber in your body yells quit. Nobody could understand until we actually started doing it, how cold it, it could get when you're in a, a helium environment. I remember one of the saturation dive, training dives I made, it was in a chamber at the Navy uh, Experimental Diving Unit. And to be comfortable, the temperature had to be no lower than 83 degrees Fahrenheit, no higher than 85. If it was lower than that, we were freezing. If it was above that, uh, we were burning up. It was just intolerable. Saturation diving, we're able to dive to over a thousand feet. It made possible the, much of the offshore oil production that we have today the satisfaction of doing something that nobody has ever done before is something that you just can't describe.
and there is a bond that's created among uh, among those who are in a situation like that or in a group like that. I love these guys. Most of them are no longer with us, but for those few, the handful that are here today, I am so glad to be able to get together with them again. This uh, museum, my kids are thoroughly enjoying seeing the kind of stuff that I did back when I was their age or younger. Uh, and I'm delighted that this is here. And like I say, there is a bond that ties those of us who were aquanauts in that program together. Uh, I, I, I don't know. They are, I don't know how to say it. It's just that we are one.